Commons. I will give you the greatest games on earth. Show them you can fight or die, Trayon. Ah! Ah! From the producers of 300, a four horse race is a suicide. Let the games begin. Starring Oscar winner Anthony Hopkins. Behold, this arena will be built for Rome. Rise or die. Those about to die. A new Peacock original series streaming July 18th. In 2003, the NHL played its first ever league game outdoors in an event called the Heritage Classic. That was in Edmonton, Alberta. On that day, the temperatures went from minus 18 degrees Celsius to minus 30. Many, obviously, considered it too cold. There were some that even cried out, why couldn't this game have been played in warmer conditions? Hi, I'm Chris May, writer, producer, and host of this day in weather history. And we're now in our second year from the Weather Network in Canada. Today, we throw it back to a game played outdoors 12 years prior to that. And ironically, in conditions that although we're absolutely the polar opposite of Edmonton, still suck for hockey. This day in weather history. On September 27th, 1991, the Los Angeles Kings took on the New York Rangers in a preseason game. Location, how about the parking lot at Caesars Palace? <laughs> the parking lot. Already this sounds shady and ill-advised by any sane, hockey-minded human. I mean, what could go wrong there? As one would expect, everything. First, things got toasty. The event started exactly as many suspected for a game played in the desert, in the parking lot, of a casino. There was a tarp malfunction. I mean, why not? <laughs> First question I had, however, was, um, what was the tarp for? This is awesome. You gotta listen to this. The tarp, developed by NASA, was designed to refract the sun's rays away from the ice so that it wouldn't melt under the hot Las Vegas sky. The tarp would absorb all the heat that was cast down as well so that the ice would stay intact. Now, like a canopy, it was draped about a foot to a foot and a half over top the ice. The malfunction was that on the afternoon of the game, it was accidentally lowered down to the ice, which produced now the opposite effect. It began a rapid melting of the ice surface. At this point, and almost like a Las Vegas stage show, there was this mad scramble to get it off the ice before we were back down to concrete foundation. It was salvaged, but only just, and only just salvaged. Neither the tarp nor the ice were now in what you would call the best condition. In goal for the New York Rangers for that game was John Van Beesbrook. He remembered the ice looking something like a puddle. And if you're a goalie in any sport, whether it be ice or grass or turf or clay, puddles are hazardous working conditions for goalies. Ah, but the brain trust for what we called the parking lot gardens, uh, they were quick thinkers. It was, all right, boys, not to worry, see? A quick freeze and we're back on track, see? Nothing can stop us now. Ha ha ha! Except that then there were locusts. You heard me right. Locusts. These dense black insects literally covered the ice throughout the night and some even got stuck and then f frozen in the ice surface as the rink recovered from the day's melting mishap. <laughs> Did they manage to scrape them all up in time for the game? No, not even close. As a matter of fact, Rangers enforcer Ty Domi skated over one and was sent flying while attempting a breakaway in the actual game. I am sure that Ty Domi would have loved to have gone toe to toe with whoever took him out, but this was not the time nor the foe. Now, how did this amazing idea even come to fruition? Uh, you can look to the great one for the first spark. He recalled that when he and his teammates, Mark Messier, Paul Coffey, Yari Curry, and Grant Fuhr played either minor hockey or when they were in the WHA, they played in some real odd market teams in the early 80s. Gretzky said, quote, We played in places like Dallas, Miami, Tampa Bay, and Houston. And everybody was always saying, 
do you think they'll have a team there in Las Vegas? The irony is rich, I know, <laughs> but this was 1991, and to this point, we had no teams in any of those cities yet. As inconsequential as the actual game was, because it was, after all, just an exhibition game, and really just a publicity stunt at that, the game did happen and went relatively well, all things considered. New York jumped out to a 2-0 lead, but the Wayne Gretzky-led King scored five unanswered goals to storm back to a 5-2 win. And now with NHL hockey full-time in Vegas and doing very well, I might add, <laughs> maybe this was not such a far-fetched idea after all. The outdoor game at The Palace, Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, Nevada, happened September 27th, 1991, this day in weather history. Tomorrow is September 28th, and by this time of the year, we are a week into the fall season. Fall is that delicate struggle between summer and winter. Summer wants to hold on a little bit longer, but winter wants in as well. In Alberta back in 2019, there was a winter storm that would make most of the rest of the year's actual winter season storms wilt by comparison. Yes, tomorrow is the 2019 record-setting early snowfall in Alberta that leveled Calgary, among other foothill towns. On this day in weather history, with me, your host, Chris May.